guys, Kid Guru here today, and I have a Windows XP slash Vista tip for you guys. Uh, this is going for speeding up your computer and how to save a lot of disk space, guys. So, uh, it's called Disk Cleanup. I'm going to run through an overview of what Disk Cleanup does. I'm sure you've heard of it. If not, I'll walk you through it and some extra tricks in w within Disk Cleanup. Uh, so, head over to your Start menu, All Programs. I'm using a custom theme right now. Slan XP 3.0. Uh, I'll get into that in maybe another video, but uh, anyways, go to accessories. And I have mine organized. Uh, you should have your like you know your default stuff in here. Now go to your uh, system tools folder and go to disk cleanup. Go ahead and click OK, or you know just click on it. Now select the drive you want to be cleaned up. You can do it to external drives. Uh, you know extra, you know another partition. I'm pretty sure that's within Windows or uh, you know your main drive, which is usually the C drive. And hit OK. You know I already cleaned up mine, so um, you know. Uh, uh, it's not really, everything's pretty much compressed. Basically, I'm going to run through this real quick. It's going to, you know, calculate, scan your drive for s stuff like uh, files, old programs you haven't used, old, uh, you know, log files. It gets pretty much every, all those files, you know, that are hidden within your System32 folder, stuff like that. And it's going to clean them up, basically. So I'm going to get back to you once this is done calculating. Okay, it's done calculating now. And basically, it's going to give you a list of stuff, whether you're in Vista or XP. Now it's going to say download program files and I'll give you a description. Basically these are ActiveX controls and Java applets download automatically when you, you know, view stuff on the internet pages that store it. Temporary type files. Uh, so basically um, you can check how much kilobytes. I already cleaned mine out, most of it. So uh, you see here, sometimes you can even hold up files up to a gig or more. If you're on Vista and you have your Hibernate files, uh, I've seen those go up to a gig or two gigs and I've heard from friends that that's gone up really high. Uh, and take up a lot of space. Uh, re um, you know, if you don't really use hibernation, you know, the mode hibernation, you know, I use sleep usually. Hibernation basically saves your Windows, uh, your Windows uh, system state, and pr basically does power off your computer. It's similar to sleep, but in sleep, your computer is still active once, you know, it's just in sleep mode. But I really don't use hibernate, so if you're in Vista, go ahead and check that to delete all those files. Compress old files. Uh, it compresses all your, you know, f old files or, you know, uh, any type of, uh, stuff that I'm not on the disk. It kind of, like, compresses it, stuff like that. Uh, and you have temporary files, temp files, I've gone through that. It does your recycle bin, temp internet, temporary internet files, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And like I said, if you're on Vista, you'll have a little bit more options as well. So go ahead and clean everything up, and basically all the stuff you don't need. You know, pretty much you can check everything as long, you know, pretty safe. It may delete some, you know, cache, stuff like that. Um, now, another tip for this one. If you go to compress old files, you can actually make it compress newer files as well. So if you go to options, it's set by default to compress after 50 days. You can set that to something like 100, uh, 100, 110, 105, 70, 75, however many days you want within recent days, so it compresses new files as well. Also, if you go to more options, Windows Components, this is basically when you go into Control Panel, Add, Remove Programs, Windows Components, you can remove accessories such as games, you know, in your accessories folder, all those default games like Solitaire, stuff like that, you can disable those. Internet Explorer, indexing services, stuff like that. Installed programs, I'm pretty sure this is just add or remove programs. Um, system Restore. Pay attention to this one mainly. If you don't use System Restore, if you have your stuff backed up or something like that, or you're not really worried about your computer, you know, you don't really need to restore it back to a certain point, basically this will delete all the other restore points except the most recent restore point. So that's a good thing. So even if you delete all of them and you do need to restore, you can restore to the state before, you know, whatever your problem occurred. So it is going to save the most recent one, but it's not going to save, like, the one where you first installed your computer, when you first installed Windows onto the computer. But if you really don't need that, which most likely you won't, and if you have some uh, external hard drive and you have all your files backed up and you're not really worried about it, you know, then go ahead and clean it up. I had th I had 27 gigs used, within my computer and this is a fresh install like you know it's only been two months about maybe three uh... it went to fourteen point six gigs after i cleaned that off after i cleaned all the system restore from twenty seven to fourteen so you never know how much it can clean up for you um... yeah so just run just clean up so first off you're gonna wanna do the more options first you're gonna wanna clean these up uh... and then you go to disk cleanup and then clean these and you said okay you can check out the options for some stuff if it has options or view files so yeah, I just hit OK and I'll start compressing. Uh, anyways, that's how you save some good disk space, whether it be on Vista or XP. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it. Uh, don't forget to check out the website at adrianstech.com and 
check out the channel. We currently have 905 subscribers. Thanks, guys. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. And again, if you have any questions, concerns, comment, feedback, tutorial requests, send them at adrianstech at gmail.com and visit our site at adrianstech.com. Thanks for watching.